That's my next holiday right there, bro. Uh, Joburg was getting there. Just <sighs> work towards just buying a place there. Man. <laughs> awesome. Now, we've been over the moon. Why? And the girls have been as giddy as the guys. Why? Because we have one of Western Province and Springbok's favorite sons in studio this morning. <laughs> Sia Khaleesi. Sia, welcome, sir. Thank you. They're sporting a beard like I've I know, never seen man. before. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's to show the wisdom that comes <laughs> with being a family man. That's my first question. How's family life, Mark? Um, it's been going good. It's pretty tough. Um, you know, they cry all the time and they sleep in awkward hours. So I have to sleep whenever he's sleeping. Um, but I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Yeah. You must have appreciated the time off a little bit that now that you can yeah. spend a little bit you more with him. Everything happened, um, happened quite uh, perfectly for us. Because yes. if, if I was playing, I wouldn't have made his birthday. Exactly. Oh, everything. Man. And now I've got more time with him while he's still a little one. Oh, and man. you would have been chewing your leg off to get back on that field <laughs> yeah. as well. I, I, I know, imagine. I know, you know. But I'm happy at the same time, you know. How's, well, how's the injury going? Um, well, at the moment, I came off the of, of the braces two weeks ago, so I'm gonna start running. I've been gymming upper body, so now I'm gonna start running today. Yeah. Today? I was gonna say, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can pretty much see you've been gymming <laughs> upper body right now. Don't sleep on leg day, boy. Don't sleep on leg day. I've been sleeping on leg day. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have to ask the obvious question what is the feeling like in the Western Province and Union? If you don't understand, it, it's the craziest thing ever, you know. It's been um, quite a long time, since 2001, since we've born at home. Yeah. So this is more special than 2012, actually. Yeah. And um, I actually felt like a fan when I was watching the game. Because, uh, How I wish, yeah, yeah, I wished I was there playing with them, but at the same time I was happy with what happened there. But there seems to have been something different about the team where, I mean, throughout the season uh, there yeah. was a certain consistency. What, what, do, what do you think is it that makes uh, the union, the province's rugby, and the spirit around the team so unique and different? I think it's just the vibe that we, 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 like, we build as a team. You know, after the Super Rugby, it wasn't the greatest Super Rugby that we've had. Yeah. We all went in a camp um, in Langaban and we just um, sat down and said what we wanted for the team yeah. and what's going to work for us because as we all see, we we're all youngsters in the team. And you know, and we just put in everything and putting the team first and just trying to make each other happy and respect each other and everything. And how did it make you feel seeing a full stadium? The fans have gotten behind I, this. I was, again. You know, I, I, I can't even express how I felt there. I don't even imagine how they're feeling when they're playing in the full Newlands like that. It was special. Now, you, you might have noticed our eyes being drawn <laughs> to these specimens here, yeah, the Adidas RS. Check them out, dude. I, I actually want to hold these just, like, yes. just for a little while yes. to say that I, I, I touched them, because I actually honestly haven't touched them before this. Uh, these are a very special pair of boots that, uh, that you wore yes, during the this season, the, the RS7s, yeah. and uh, they've been specially worked on by a very creative mind uh, yeah. in the mind of Mr. Uh, tell me, tell me actually about the, your, yeah, yeah, the, your, your the project artist. that you guys have taken on. Um, this is actually for the J9 Foundation. Yeah, uh, it was awesome. started by Adidas, and it's for it's for like to help people that are suffering with disease that uh, Yost has, like yeah. Yeah. the guy like, disease, like, yeah. like Dennis uh, Debrea that just passed away. You see yeah. So it's for us to help them, and um, this was done by Cindiso and like one of the, the three of us that did it, Ian, myself, and JP mm -hmm. and JP Peterson. We just told him about the stuff that we liked and everything, and then he would in his imagination make out a put, and obviously me. I like speed because I'm not fast on the field, oh, so yeah, I like it on the field. So he just did this with all the dragging, uh, uh, drag racing um, flames going through and everything. I, I can see you struggling nice. to let these go. Dude. I know. No, I know. Second thoughts. I might also like. Um, Put some money in to try and get them back. Uh, well, so yeah. you can always bid. Why yeah, exactly? We are going to be auctioning these beauties off along with the shoes of JP and Jan that have been all designed in similar ways. You can get a good insight into the characters of the men, but we are going to be auctioning them off on the show today. Yeah. And it is going to be quite simple. We're even going to kick off the bidding ourselves. Exactly. We're giving you the chance to actually own one of these pairs of boots. In fact, a piece of history, if you will look at it that way. Get onto our Twitter page at Expresso Show and you use two hashtags. Hashtag Show your stripes yep. and hashtag espresso bid. And of course, the highest bidder will be walking away with one. I'm going to open right the bidding now. at, um, I don't want to break the bank for our poor viewers. I'm going to kick it off at 120 Rand. How's that? That's no, right. that, That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm willing to fight for these. Eh? And you, 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 you bidding for Sears, Sears boots. boots. Sorry, yeah, I'm going for Sears straight out. <laughs> <Thanks, laughs> <right. thanks. laughs> Okay, cool. So, uh, of course, there's also Jan Sandfontein's boot and also uh, JP yeah. Peterson. So, uh, the hashtag show your stripes and hashtag uh, espresso bid. Dude, uh, okay, so honestly, whose boots do you think turned out best? Honestly, be I, honest. I, I would like to say mine. You would like to say yeah. yours, but honestly. But, um, I, I think Jan's. Yeah, because this? he's got the little bull going as well. Yeah, okay. That's his favorite thing, but he likes the most because he could show his team on his boots. 
Beautiful stuff, yeah. beautiful stuff. So we're looking forward to that. We'll be running that all morning long on our Twitter account. Have you placed your bid? You got to, you I am. I'm busy placing my bid. So, so guys, hashtag show your stripes, hashtag espresso bid. That's where we're at right now, teaming up with Adidas and Sia Colisi. We're raising money for the J9 Foundation, of course, in aid of motor neuron disease, creating awareness. But doing it through a very exciting project that you guys have embarked upon. Three very unique pairs of boots 100%. that have been custom designed by a street art designer. Very, very famous man, yeah. of course, from uh, Zimbabwe. Um, Cindy Sognoni. Cindy Sognoni, there we go. And right here are These your are boots. Yes, Flame decaled boots. I love them. I see what you mean about Yancia's Yancia yeah. Frontines. Um, bull. There's the bull display. with the ring and everything. Oh, and then JP just going for the JP. Yeah, I love JP. it. Now, I have to say, man, I've, I've seen the boots been coming in. I got pushed out. It started <laughs> out at 150. I thought that was yeah. like a good mark. Then it went like boom, yeah. up to 500. Then it went to 650. I went in at 750. Now you've gone up to 1,000. I don't know how I can so with that, man. Thank you, guys. Keep on going. Oh, man. <laughs> Please do keep on going. So yeah. hashtag one more. It's hashtag show your stripes and hashtag espresso bed. All right, and of course, of course, don't forget, we got uh, JP's boots over here and uh, Young Saturday's boots as well. So get those bids in, and uh, we'll be announcing who the winners of those auctions are. And they're, they're starting start. to climb, and they're starting to climb. Now, of course, we know the box starts a very important phase oh, of man. the build-up to the World Cup. What are they? What are they going to expect when they? Obviously, Dublin is going to be a very hostile ground tomorrow. Yeah. Um, the island side at the moment. Where do you think the box, an unchanged box side, is? Is how they're going to fare? Um, you know, um, Ireland has been pretty good. Um, obviously, they won the Six Nations, I think. Um, it's, we're going to have to work on our set paces, especially because yeah. Ireland has been really good in the strums. I don't think they've lost any strums uh, in the competition so far. Obviously, they have a strong line-out um, uh, line team. Um, I, I think, but I think we can, we can manage as long as we work on our set piece because that's where it all starts. And obviously, the conditions are going to play a huge role. And so the forwards are going to have to control most of the game, basically. Oh. Spoken like a true forward. I love it. Very true. I think the uh, Gears starts right over here, of course, with support for our boys here 100%. in South Africa. Well, stay tuned. Lots more to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Do keep those tweets coming in with hashtag Show Your Stripes and hashtag Espresso Bed. <laughs> yeah, I think you might want to try shaving off that beard next time, Sean Marker. That might be a little bit more convincing. But listen, outside, we're still carrying on with our auction in aid of the J9 Foundation. We are auctioning off Sia Colesi's uh, very specially made uh, boots by Adidas that have also been worked on by Cindy Sognoni, uh, of course, a very special uh, street artist. And also, uh, Jan Sarfontein and uh, JP, uh, JP's uh, boots, are, boots are up for auction. And we've got... Uh, Mitzi Bosov right now, who's shot to the sky with this bid, saying she's bidding for uh, Sia Colisi's boots at 2,000 rand. So that's, their, that's where they're standing right now. And you can do the same by hashtagging Espresso Bid and hashtagging Show Your Stripes and then saying, of course, the amount that you're bidding and whose boots you're bidding on. Okay, we'll be doing that all morning long and we'll announce at the end of the show whose boots who's are going to be going to who at the end of the day. Oh, man, yes, I wish I had it all. Everyone's wishing they had it all. Check it out. <laughs> hashtag Espresso Bid, hashtag Show Your Stripes. We are partnering up with Sia and Adidas and all these. Look at these beautiful boots. These are collector's items right now. And we're asking you to bid all in aid of the J9 Foundation. So right now, as it stands, gentlemen, let me just quickly give you an update on the news. Sia, your shoes are being bid on by Mitzi Bossoff, right? At Mitch Scorpio, who's offering 6,000 200 rand Yo. for them. Oh, okay. Good. Right now, Xavier is crying. Xavier <laughs> came in at 6,000, dude. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, Greg Tinkler just put in a bit of 750 rand for JP Peterson's boots. And then Mitzi Bosov once again is trying to outbid me uh, <laughs> by going in at, at 2,500 rand for Jan Sarfontein's boots. Okay. So I'm going to have to contemplate a couple of things. Just think about it because I think these are really worthy collectors. It's an investment. Right now. That's the thing. It's yeah, an yeah, investment. Yeah. I do yeah, auctions yeah. with sports goods all the time and yeah. these things will pick a price it will get a massive massive reward at the end of the day but now i understand um you, you're gonna throw in a little extra incentive yeah um i think i'm gonna give whoever bid the highest i'll uh, probably give them uh, one of my jerseys here oh Ooh. wow <laughs> an adidas western province rugby jersey right there so for the highest bidder of your boots yeah a Western Province jersey will be this. Okay, so you heard it, it's out there. And of course, remember that all the proceeds go to the, the J J9 Foundation, J9, yeah. all yeah. in aid of uh, creating awareness and trying to find a cure for motor neuron disease right now. Oh, yeah, man, dude. this is incredible, dude. Well, I'm going to keep these very safe for you. Please do, please <laughs> do. They are beautiful, please man. Look at, that, look at that detail. Yeah, what's happening in your corner? <laughs> Good Breakfast Show Express, so we're live on three beautiful shoes for a really, really worthy cause. And of course, then Sia. 
And they stare. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, are you impressed that your shoes have now reached, get this, yeah. we, we had a, a last bit on 6,200. I mentioned Xavier's name. He threw down the challenge, 7,000 rand. It's, it's this amazing, man is yeah. willing to pay for these beauties. Um, I think it's worth it, I mean, especially for the cause, you know, uh, but um, I'm really... I'm really happy and I hope they, they, they start buying the other guys' shoes as well. I have to say, JPs are sitting at a steal at 750 Rand. Now, on the interior that you can't see, there is a lion breathing fire. Breathing fire. Mm. Mm. Nothing so is as hardcore amazing. as a lion breathing fire, except mm. maybe a boo. <laughs> um, we know that um, Jan's boots have now reached 2,500 as well. This is a steal for a piece of sports memorabilia that is going to only appreciate in value. I auction these sorts of things off all the time. They are worth so much. They are yeah. so much worth so much more. So all you need to do is to follow us on our Expresso line or Twitter feed uh, at Expresso Show with our hashtags, mm -hmm. of course. Hashtag show your stripes and hashtag Expresso bid. And these beauties could be yours. And see us throwing in one of his Adidas Western Province rugby jerseys oh, as well. That is Just so crazy. Just to the deal. Just again to touch on the cause, it is for MND, so motor neuron disease, and of course for the J9 Foundation. So make sure you send through those bids now. Oh man, good luck, dude. Thank, Thank you. You're going to struggle to give these away today. <laughs> I know. You're going to struggle. Know. Well, congratulations to all of our winners today, some big winners today, including the person who's going to get hold of your boots. It looks like 7,000 Rand is going to take it, my bro. That's we awesome. will announce the winner um, via Adidas. They are very proud to be involved. Thank you so much for offering this up, dude. Thank you very much. I have to ask you before we call the others in here, a prediction quickly on the score tomorrow with the box versus um, Ireland. I think it will be 30 10 to the box. Oh, 30 10. 10, and then 10 yeah. Province up against Saracens. That's another big challenge. How do you think the boys are going to fare up north? Um, I think they're going to do well. Eh? I mean, it's, it's, more, it's mostly to build for, for next year. And um, they, they're, they're there for holiday now just to enjoy it and everything. So I hope they have a good time in England. Oh, dude, I, I hope you are savoring your family time. Yeah. We can't wait to see you back on the field. Get in there, you beautiful people. Sean Marku, yeah. oh, yeah. Nay, I almost didn't recognize you without your wig. Um, dude, the big question is, are you, have you closed your bids? Are you still going for it? I, I think as far as I'm concerned, my bid is the highest right now. I'm, I'm in a 2-8. 2-8 yeah. for Jan Sapphire's boots. Yeah. Well done, so, so, uh, if anybody's willing to outbid me, bring it, bring it. I'm, uh, I'm pretty much sure that I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the stone for this one, eh? Oh, man, but all of this yeah. means <laughs> that the J9 Foundation is going to get closer mm. on 10,000 Rand from what everyone has bid yet today. So well done, so, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. And also, Sia, you said something special that, that you're going to be giving away along with your boots. Whoever bids the highest for your boots, yeah. uh, one of your jerseys. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. man. <laughs> now, that's pretty cool. Do, 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 does it get washed? Or do you just give it... Uh, no, I'm not going to wash it. I'm not going to it. Just like that, just like yeah, that. Yeah. Well, I, t I tell you what, just, just a bit of uh, uh, information for the ladies. Ne? You see these, Ilana? These, they are, they are not called uh, uh, shoes. What are they called? Such. <laughs> they, they are called boots. <laughs> yeah? Rugby boots. But you it's... don't refer to them as shoes, as but such. But they don't have high, high... They used to, though. It's a throwback to the past. Right, right, right. Okay. They used I to be like up there, like We learn something new every day, Like right? I was wondering, you know. Every day, every day. <laughs> but uh, I asked you earlier, did them... Did, did they wear them first or did they paint them first? But no, they, no, wore they wore them wore first them. and then they painted them no, afterwards. No. We, they painted them before and then we played with them oh, and then they painted they over them. Guys, yeah. we're getting a quick update right now from our producers. Uh, JP Peterson's boots received a new bid at what price? At wow. 2,000 yeah. Rand. Oh my goodness. goodness. That is absolutely incredible. loving it, loving it. And I mean, just the, the, the awesome detail on it. I mean, this, this baby's gonna be mine. Your mom, baby, you're gonna be mine. <laughs> All right, listen. The ball is cool. Before the, the weekend gets underway, let's quickly catch, catch some beats right now. I, I, I feel like getting into the vibe. Mm. Here's some music for you Bring right now.